In this session of video, we'll be having a look on a very important tool known as Object Spy. Here we go. Object Spy, a hat and goggles, what you can see here. And you, when you can move on to the tools, the first option you will get it as a Object Spy. So just click on the Object Spy, a window will be populated on the screen. This object spy is a very powerful tool. By using this, we can study an element. Like it captures the element information and it will display as here on the screen, including the object hierarchy. So if I want to know any information about any element, like basically, this object spy helps a lot. See here by looking at the object, no one in the world can say that whether it is a button or whether it is a drop down or it's a link or it's an image. It's quite impossible to say it. Looks like an image, looks like a link. It may not be a link in some cases. It's look like an image, but it may not be, a, but it looks like a button, but it may not be a button in some cases. Right? Yes. So to overcome that, to check like what exactly the class it belongs to, basically we need to use this object spy. So simpler pattern, I can say that object spy displays all the properties of an object along with the hierarchy of it, like which helps us, which makes us easy to write the script. So just have a look on this. Just I want to know what is this passenger name edit boxes i want to know the details of it just simple click on object spy so after populating object spy can you see this here use the pointer hand to select an object just click the pointer and move towards the application what you want to know about i want to know about this application just have a look on this here we go it's wpf window it is a wpf edit and all these are the properties so it has a properties which is given by the developer which has a dynamic properties which generated by themselves okay so here all this is a list which will give you the properties and the hierarchy here at the top so this is what the object spy it displays the properties along with the hierarchy of it. Clear? Yes. So just have a look on this, a very interesting topic here regarding object spy. Let me open one website. Let me show you a few more things on uh, object spy now let me move on to this website here i have a website mercury tools sorry new tools .demo -aud .com. i can see here sign in actually looks like it's a button sign in button right here let me highlight that this one looks like a button let me spy this and let's see what exactly it is so for that more to object spy click on this man with hat and click on this and symbol and move your mouse towards that sign in just have a look on this sign in. it is the image can you see this it's an image called sign in it's not a button it's look like a button but it's not a button same like that just have a look on this here i have a uh, facebook login screen forgot your password it's here it's a link and keep me login even that's look like a link right so let me spy it
here we go it's a link forget your password you are very happy with it but this the stay logged in it's not a link it's just a web element it's just a web element it looks like a link but so that is what like by looking at object we can't say like what category it is it's a drop down or it's a list box or it's a link it's an image or it's a button we can't say it right the class of an object will be displayed by your object file not only that it will display the properties of it also like what is the width of it what is the height of it what is the x path of it what is the x axis y axis what are the coordinates of it like even the properties also what is the name of it what is the id of it even the properties will also be displayed in your object spy so object spy literally spies the element and it will give you all the information which is related to the object so that we can easily find that element and we can try to perform the activity on it so literally i can say that without having a object spy it's quite impossible to write your script so here we have a object spy now let's begin to write our script